Hello, well I've been doing a bit of leather restoration recently and I've, I've acquired a rather nice old leather item. I'll tell you more in a minute, but I'll tease you for a second or two, um, which I've been doing some restoration on. And this particular leather object was covered in lots and lots of grease and mud and grime. So the first thing I did was I used some saddle soap and this is brilliant stuff for getting leather clean. And basically you apply it with a soft cloth or a brush bit of water and rub it over the surface and it actually gets off all the sort of muck and all the crud and it really is good. People use it for cleaning horse tack and stuff like that but for some more things excellent. So that's the saddle soap and then having got it sort of reasonably clean my next step was to try and revitalize the leather as the leather got quite dried and quite so sort of crazed and crackled. So I used a product called Neats for Toil probably comes under various brand names but this is excellent stuff. I think it's something like ground up hoofs, but it's, it's basically a fine refined sort of oil for leather and it gives the leather a nice luster again and makes it all lovely. I use quite a lot on this thing. So I think I've kept you in suspense long enough. I'll show you what the item is. Well, here it is. It was described as an old leather plumber's bag. And actually, well, that may be all it is. But there's a bit more to this bag. It's beautiful veg tan leather. When I was cleaning it up, one of the things I noticed was this. It's got, if you can see there faintly in the leather, just stamped in below the brass plate, LMGs. Now I googled LMGs and up came light machine guns. Anyway, my brother-in-law does a little bit of sort of military um, collecting and a bit of military dealing. And I asked him about it because he's pretty expert on these things. And he thought it was probably Lewis machine guns, an old gunner's bag. Anyway, if any of you know any more about it, please comment below. But that's probably what it is. And it's very nice. It's riveted. It's lovely veg tan leather. And assuming it's First World War, that's about 100 years old. It does look about 100 years old. My dad used to collect horse brasses. And I used to see the old leather on those. So, um, yes, this one though, look, I wonder, is that a bullet hole at the end? I've put a patch over it, so I've done some light repairs on this to try and get it back into working order. Had to renew a strap. The handles are okay, lots of neats for toil, seems to have fed them well. Replaced a few of the rivets, and just generally, without replacing bits unnecessarily, got it back into working use. So that's going to be my pole lavers bag. There's one more quite interesting thing about this bag, and I'll show you next. Well, I've just put a couple of my handmade Bucklehurst leather belts in front of the bag. And the interesting thing is the leather is pretty well identical. I mean, the bag is obviously quite wrinkled with age and old, but the actual tanning, I mean, this is vegetable pit tanned leather. So it's lovely high quality, naturally tanned leather and the bag looks the same. So I suspect the actual tradition of making this leather hasn't actually changed very much over the years. So interesting to see. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one and thanks for watching. Bye.